right on to the section of getting stuff ready for the transat um, i wanted to show you the device i use to uh, climb up the mass by myself So for this you'll need um, what do you call it? a harness, you need a gris gris, so this is, you have different uh, brands of those, uh, they basically made to uh, hold you like going down if you just don't do anything it blocks and then you have this lever here to uh, help you descend and then this climbing handle and uh, it, it, it goes up but not down. So you'll need this and then you'll need a cell tie or a piece of uh, line, anything. I'll, I'll use this, say. And then you need also a eight millimeter or nine millimeter piece of um, static line. So a sheet would do or anything. Uh, something that goes all the way uh, to the top of the mast. So yeah, let's go. First you, you take your uh, halyard, any halyard that goes all the way to the top of the mat, depending on where you want to, uh, to go and work. You attach your 8mm uh, line to that halyard and you uh, hoist it all the way. Now I have hoisted my line all the way to the top of the mast. Get into the harness. For longer works, you probably want to get a, a proper Boston's chair, but Boston's chair are really heavy. Uh, this is a really good option for uh, racing and also to work at sea, so it, it holds you better than a Boston's chair, where you'll be uh, less agile. But if it's just to work inside a harbor, probably get a Boston's chair. This, I get the material I want to work with, with me. Okay, so now what I do is that I get my uh, climbing thingy, whatever, gigi, onto uh, the line. There you go, so see, on, in one direction, I can pull the line and in the, into the other, it locks. If you don't know how to uh, use this, uh, probably go on into a climbing class. Uh, I won't take any responsibility for you having this without knowing how to use it. But it's pretty simple, just learn how to use it. Also, uh, the halyard I'm climbing onto, I've uh, secured it onto uh, the winch, not to rely uh, solely onto the onto the jammer, onto the constrictor. Mm. So yeah, and now I'm going to use this and the cell tie or whatever piece of line you want to use. So basically what you do is that you, you hook the handle onto the line. So see, now it can go up, but not down, okay? And so you're gonna take your cell tie and make it go through the bottom of the handle there you go handle line and I have a loop that is about one meter long okay. I'm going to attach myself onto um, the gigi there you go so see I have this holding me and then I have the handle and I have this line, this loop where I put my food into. And how can I do that so you see? And since you're using the strength of your legs, it's not, it's not hard at all. It's not, you know, a physical exercise. More than being on your couch, but not so much either. <laughs> hey 
Hey guys, Hugo from the future here. Hope you like uh, this video. If you do, it definitely gives me a hand. If you uh, subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up, put a comment, it definitely gives me a hand and helps me carrying on with these vlogs. Uh, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the show. And so that was to go up and now to go down, it's pretty easy. This you can leave it uh, up here um, because then you just ease everything to get your alliot back anyway. So you just leave it here and go down with this. Right, so the other day I was showing you um, how to climb to the mast single-handed in port and now let's try to do it at sea. I'm actually going to do it uh, under spinnaker also because it's more fun but mostly because the idea of you know being able to conduct small repairs up there while remaining into race mode is, uh, is good, it's interesting so I'm going to set up the, the spinnaker, it's flat today, so it's pretty easy. Set up the spinnaker and then uh, climb up the mast to show you uh, what are the, the little tricks you can do. Okay, so the spinnaker is set, now I'm going to prepare myself and prepare the lines. So. First I'm going to set up the man halyard, uh, just that line I'm going to put up with the uh, spinnaker halyard, one of the two. <laughs> it is, I just secure the end so it doesn't go flying. So now the halyard, the man halyard is set up, goes all the way to the top, attached to the bottom. And now I'm going to secure another halyard uh, from the top to the foot here, uh, to a strong point. The idea is to make a line that is continuous all the way to the top and that I'm going to be able to secure onto, not to start swinging around the rig if there is uh, lots of soil. So here I have my a uh, jib halyard that I've put in the tension. One last thing I'm going to do 
is uh, putting the autopilot into uh, compass mode. So this way um, I can adjust really what I'm doing up there uh, in terms of course if there is another boat or something I need to dodge, dodge while I'm up there. Uh, being into apparent wind mode is more efficient but it's also more tricky. I prefer to be able to kind of myself uh, control this. So now I have pretty much everything ready. I'm going to bear away slightly to about 145 degrees. So I am still moving, but also the boat will be a bit more stable. There we go, bearing away 10 degrees. There we go, perfect. And now I'm setting up all my lines. That's good. I'm setting up my handle, okay, with the loop. And so the last thing before going up, which is really important when you climb the mast uh, single-handed, is to put the safety on your crocs. Here you go. That's much better because you would not want to lose them while going up there. Now that the safety is there, we're fine to go. Uh, let me see how I can film with this. The last thing I'm doing when I'm ready to go is that I'm, I attach myself, so normally I use the loop of my life jacket. I attach myself to uh, the jib halyard, so in case, you know, I don't start uh, swinging around the rig if there is a big wave or anything. There we go, this, see, I cannot go much further than this if anything was to happen. Yeah, pretty much it. You just climb the same way uh, as you would in port, just with the strobe, uh, this strobe here, holding me to the mast in case I start swinging. And, uh, and yeah, do your fix, then store away the handle. Some people wear helmets. Um, I'm, I mean, if I have one, I'll wear one. I'm not sure I'll carry one because chance you have to go up the rig if everything's prepared are pretty low uh, and this is pr pretty small rig so that's fine so I'm sure there is a safer way to do this um, this is kind of the standard of safety I like to have I have a harness I cannot fall I have a, a strobe to the mast I cannot start swinging around there is always you know redundancies you can add but redundancies also add time uh, the shorter amount of time I'm up here the better you know if i mean now it's fine because it's you know i can hold inside my hand as soon as there is one meter swell i'll be swinging around like crazy so you know find the balance you find appropriate of safety and mostly train because all these equipment you need to know them super well and uh, and be super comfortable using them in port before trying um, out at sea and uh, and also yeah i mean having a a remote control helps a lot. I'm going to bear away 10 degrees. Because actually it's still summertime here. There is lots of people in the water. So I want to check behind my cell. I'm gonna bear away another 10 degrees and hope the spinnaker is gonna collapse. Bear away 10 degrees. I'm gonna bear away five degrees more. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Well, all clear. Coming up. All right, let's see if we can come up 10 more degrees. Heading up. Catching up a little speed. All right, 10 more degrees. Now we're probably about 130 from the true wind angle. All right, let's do five more. That's a bit better. So you don't necessarily need to go slow for it to be safe. It's better to have a boat that is powered so it swings less around. Uh, I'm not saying to do reaching at 90 degrees with the Jenneker, but you know, if you have a bit of pressure in your sails, the boat is on a more stable angle and it would be less jumping on the waves. 
kind of. Okay, I could not really come all the way up here, not come to the top of the mast. The view is pretty nice, and also it's better to check if there is boat. Like, I can pull the sail down. This is what the wind bay sees all the time. We're doing probably around eight knots. Not too bad. Probably not improving the performance by being up here. But uh, yeah, here we go. We have the vinegar start to flutter a little. Hey, what up? This is how uh, you climb up the mast by yourself. <laughs> 